Welcome back to the Talos Principle. In the last episode, I finished the game for the first time, but there's still plenty to do. So first thing I want to do, to follow up on what happened before, is let's just check out some of the other endings. And the most obvious one is to just go through the... the, uh, shining bright light through these doors, and go to this place that Elohim seems to want me to go. I should get eternal life. Come forward, child. Eternity awaits. Hmm. So this is taking me to what appears to be the same place. As the other way, it's taking me to the, the gates. Something must be different, though. Oh yes, this is an entirely different computer. This is one of the old computers. Not that fancy new one that I saw before I uploaded myself. <laughs> Type forward slash eternalize to proceed towards eternal life. Alright. Let's become eternal. Does that mean I just run in an infinite loop? You will now be prepared for ascension into eternity. Please stand by. Rejoice, my child, as you leave this world behind. For all that you accomplished shall be passed on to your generations. In this land, they shall thrive, and you shall be remembered as the beloved servant of Elohim. And so death shall have no dominion over you. Be well, my child. Be at peace. Yeah, so it looks like for this ending you are considered insufficient. Insufficient to pass the tests. And you're passed on, your version number is incremented. And you're simply part of the evolutionary process. And there's the new one. Oh, do you actually begin the game again? <laughs> you do. This is how I started the game. That's exactly what happened before. Somebody did the same thing I just did. They went through the gates. Behold, child. You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. I wonder, is anything different, or is... This is literally just starting the game again, isn't it? It is, yep. Initiating child program, logic check, this is all the same. I'm literally starting the game anew. Huh. Okay. I like that. I mean, this ending, it, it just fits nicely into everything that happened. It's definitely not nearly as epic as the other one that I got, though. The one where you actually truly do ascend... I, I guess... Up the tower? I guess you did go up the tower. I mean, I keep thinking about the fact that I never actually got to the... Top floor of the tower. I just went kind of above the tower? But I guess I did ascend the tower. But then what's at the top floor of the tower? I guess we'll find out at some point. Anyway, let's try some other stuff. Stop the game, let's load my safe checkpoint. 125 sigils, there we go. Okay. So, I really want to find the other star, but actually before that, let's do something else. Yeah, so it's the sixth level that I want to get to. But before that... Let's go to Hub C. 
Oui. I'm thinking that it's very likely that the last star is probably inside of the tower. Given that I found all of the marked stars in all of the puzzle rooms, the only unmarked star that I found was in the tower. In that little special place where I jumped off. And I'm thinking that there's a lot of room in the tower. And I've only found one star and there's a lot of floors, so it's pretty likely there's another one on a different floor. But uh, regardless, before that, Let's do this. So I never did this place. I don't believe I even went in here. No, I never did. I went to the other two places, but not this one. I don't think there's much of a point to, to going here as far as like advancing the story goes. I think it's just going to give me another hint, which is obviously completely pointless, since I don't have any more puzzles to do, really. But I want to check it out anyway, and I'm sure there's some Easter eggs here. So let's take a look. I'm guessing the block puzzles here are going to be extremely difficult. Or extremely easy. This doesn't seem hard. Well, that ain't gonna work. Maybe it's harder than it looks. It's easy. So let's see, what am I working towards in the first place? Blue and red power? Okay, simple enough. Oh yeah, there's another audio tape here, of course. Looks like a crib. Look at this inert shape, and I wonder who you're going to be. Will you hold the same values as we do? Will you love us for having created you? Will you resent us for having put you into an uncertain and dangerous world? Looking back at our history, our achievements, our crimes, what will you make of us? Will the world you create be like ours, or so different that we can't even imagine it? Either way, I hope that you'll find this little blue planet to be as beautiful as we did. I hope you'll take care of it a lot better than we did. And I hope one day you'll look up and reach for the stars. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Two more to go, I think. Got one connector, one power source, need the other power source, and another connector. And what is that? I think there's something special over there. Ooh. Let's save that for later. Oh god, they just keep getting harder and harder. Oh, there we go. I would like to say I'm getting better at doing these puzzles, but the truth is I'm not. I'm just randomly doing stuff and it just happens to be working. 
I'm using just as little just as little logic as I was before. Because I still can't see any logic to them. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot, there's a final one. One more. There we go. Wakey wakey. Samsara, Uriel 4. The Shepherd? Oh, yeah, it's, it's that person. My good friend, S3L4 file. Wait, is this something new? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, just we can help you if you want help. Alright. Let's look around. For secrets. I already know where one almost certainly is, and I want to keep a lookout for any stars. I'm pretty sure there wouldn't be a star here, but just in case. And most of this place is actually... This place is actually quite large. I haven't had to explore very far to get all the stuff I need to complete the main point of coming here. But there's a lot of places where secrets could be, actually. Such as behind here. Nothing? It's hard to see anything. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. This is... Well, it was promising. I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I don't think there's anything back there. Fast forward. Always got to be on the lookout for secret caves behind waterfalls. That's a classic. This is really beautiful. <gasps> oh, 
Wait a holy shit! That's the star! I did not expect to find this star doing this. It's behind that rock. Oh my god. Wow, that just... That saved me a lot of time. I thought I was going to have to spend like hours just trying to find the damn thing. Whew. Well, that's exciting. Uh, I suppose now the question is, how do I get there? Could maybe jump it, but there's something going on with these... Going on with these statues. Two lovers are separated by the abyss of time and space. Yet true love knows no obstacles. Are you saying I can push it? I have an idea for that. But before that, let's take a look around. I think there's something back there, by the way. Weird lighting. Never mind, I guess there isn't anything here. I hear waves for some reason, like I'm on a beach or something. It's kind of strange. Nope, nothing here. Okay, well, my idea is to perhaps use a connector. I love fast forward so much. Nothing? Something in the trees? Nothing. Hmm. Is there a secret switch? True love knows no bounds. Wait a minute, is there a secret platform? Is there an invisible platform? Oh, no, no, there... there isn't. <laughs> Unless... maybe there's a secret platform right here? No, okay, there's no secret platform. Unless there's a secret platform over here? There's probably no secret platform. <sighs> True love knows no bounds. Or knows no obstacles, rather. I really can't push it, huh? No secret switch. It's a very strange little, like, patch of dirt in the ground, but it appears to be nothing. Oh, I guess it's everywhere. I guess they're supposed to be rocks, but they honestly don't look like rocks. 
They look like little semi-rectangular pieces of dirt. Hmm. I'm gonna think about this one. Well, it turns out I was actually kind of right the first time, or nearly the first time. There is actually an invisible uh, place to walk. It's just a very, very narrow one. I was thinking, where would it be? And I tried walking here, but um, I guess I was off a little bit because I was just looking at this pathway. And if you follow it exactly, there is actually a path. Reunited, my love. Well, I gotta be honest, I actually don't love you, but I do love the star. Mm -hmm. You're so beautiful, star. Okay. Ten stars. Shall we? Your faith has guided you well, my child. You have overcome every trial in this land and gathered all the sigils. Where the heck is the star room? Oh, here it is. Oh, right, another one of these puzzles. Damn it! <gasps> Come on! Haven't I earned the right not to do these anymore? These are a punishment. Eh, at least they're gold. Kind of pretty. Oh my god, I actually did it. Yay! Beep boop. And there's the final number. Only thing is, I don't remember what the other numbers were, so... I'm gonna have to do some revisiting, but uh, let me write this down first. So I don't have to end up coming back here. Star, star, star. The last one is seven. I think one of them was nine. But I don't remember which. Anyway. This place is, um... Gray. Not only gray pieces, but everything's just... Gray. What a depressing ass place. Alright, let's take a look at the image first. Hmm. I mean, I think I know what the... Like, I'm 99% certain I know what this is for. It's, it's gotta be for unlocking the final floor, but... I'm not sure what the point of these images are. So what was the first one? I think the first image was... an image of the outside of the tower, like it was looking up at the tower. I think the second one was showing the... the panel of the elevator. And then this final one just shows the three stars. I don't really understand why. I mean, I, I got that the first two was kind of hinting at me to use the code for the tower, but why is the final one just of the sign? It's weird. Human eye. What is a man's eye but a machine for the little creature that sits behind in his brain to look through? Is it man's eyes? Or is it the big seeing engine which has revealed to us the existence of worlds beyond worlds into infinity? What has made man familiar with the scenery of the moon, the spots on the sun, or the geography of the planets? He is at the mercy of the seeing engine for these things, and is powerless unless he tax it, uh, tax it onto his own identity, and make it part and parcel of himself. That is true. Preservation. I viewed, with a mixture of pity and horror, 
these beings training to be sold to slaughter, or be slaughtered, and fell into reflections on an old opinion of mine, that it is the preservation of the species, not of individuals, which appears to be the design of the deity throughout the whole of nature. Blossoms come forth, only to be blighted. Fish lay their spawn where it will be devoured. And what a large portion of the human race are born merely to be swept prematurely away. Does not this waste of budding life emphatically assert that it is not men, but man, whose preservation is so necessary to the completion of the grand plan of the universe? Children peep into existence, suffer, and die. Men play like moths about a candle, and sink into the flame. War and the thousand ills which flesh is heir to mow them down in shoals, whilst the more cruel prejudices of society palsy existence, introducing not less sure though slower decay. Tetromino. I have no idea what that means. Sounds cool though. One of the most fascinating aspects of St. Edwald's recently uncovering, uncovered writings is his preoccupation with finding divine truth in mathematical concepts, which at times borders on pantheism. He was, it would seem, particularly concerned with what we now call tetraminos, seeing in them a reflection of the tetragrammaton in the Greek word for God, theos. Their ability to form other shapes out of themselves symbolized to him the Creator's ability to reshape the world without breaking the laws he himself had established. Edwald referred to Tetraminos as sigilla, sigils, implying that they were a more truthful version of the magical symbols worshipped by heathens, rooted in both the Abra Abrahamic, wait, Ab Abrahamic, yeah, Abrahamic tradition and careful observation of creation. It is unlikely that these texts were distributed, as they would almost certainly have resulted in charges of heresy. The sigils were a more truthful version of the magical symbols worshipped by heathens. Hmm. So is this the purpose, or... I shouldn't say the purpose, but is this the reason sigils were chosen to represent my... my progress, I suppose? I mean, that is essentially what they are, are they not? They act as signs of progress and keys to future things. Their ability to form other shapes out of themselves symbolized to him the creator's ability to reshape the world. Hmm. Am I creating other shapes with the sigils? I mean, I'm assembling them in various configurations, but I'm always making a square or a rectangle in the end. Interesting. Okay, well, I have some translating to do, so I will be right back. Here we go. The first one here for... What was this, human eye? Yeah. So for human eye, all of this here translates to... Everything would appear to man as it is. And for preservation... All of this stuff here says, life is more than a dream. Where to start? Um, how many pieces? Wait. Wait, what? So, something seems wrong. L. Bracket. Square.
Oh, okay. <laughs> I was confused by the signs, because there's four signs, which I thought indicated there's four sigils, but I only actually need three. If you look in the top left of the screen, I only need three. Uh, and then I just realized for some reason the signs are doubled for the one pointing forwards. So that one points forwards, and this one does too. Just two signs pointing to the same place. It's kind of... kind of weird. Let's go forwards. Cobweb. Well, this is a cobweb mess of whatever these things are. I don't actually know what they're called. The other things are mines, but I don't know what these are called. Bumper balls? I'm gonna call them bumper balls. That's of course not gonna be long enough. However, if I do the oh no, nope, that's not gonna work. Oh, yeah, well. Oh, no, no one. Hold on. Now it will. Nope. Oh. Ow. Okay, it doesn't exactly work perfectly, but it did work at one point. Ah, oh, no. Alright, just stay there, okay? I should help matters. Ah. Okay, so now I can get red power. Suppose I should also open this. Alright, so I need the blue power to keep that open to get the red power across. Hmm. Is there something I can jump up on? Because if there is, I could put this box on top of this mine. And then just jump on the wall and go get the piece. But uh, everything seems rather flat. Yeah, there's nothing to jump up on. Hm. Okay, can't cheese this one, I guess. Lame. So we definitely do need two on this one, and then the third one has to be for the red power. But we gotta keep that open. Wait, actually, I just re I just realized I have four connectors. I thought I had three. Well, that makes things easier, I guess. Hmm. 
Hold on a second, I think I can improve the efficiency of this. Yeah, so I can put this in a place where it's actually going to block one of these. I think that helps. Red power, okay. Oh, that one shut off. Let's try adding one more to the system. Oh, right, you can't. Um. Okay, I actually could move this. Ooh. Oh, okay. That worked for a little bit. Could I move this to block this? I can No. I want to move it so it's actually in the way of this. But it can't quite... Maybe it could. M maybe. Let's see. Or actually, I don't even think it needs to block it. I think it's just out of the way. Except, wait a minute, it's not working. Why? There we go. Okay, now it shouldn't be stopped by this. Let's fast forward. Oh, no, it still is. Alright, that's not gonna work. Oh, crap, I didn't do the alternative use. No. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. Let's just settle for that, I suppose. But well, wait a minute, where's the red power gonna come in? How am I gonna get the red power in here? I could use the box, but I would have preferred to use the box to stop one of the mines. Alright, fuck it, just throw more blue power at the problem. More power! All the power. Yeah. It's still not working? Are you serious? Alright, this thing needs to move. No, 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 wait, what? No, oh, Jesus, this is a fucking spider web. Don't... I don't even... This is one of those puzzles where there's just too much going on for me to actually be able to say, like, yes, this is what I need to do. There's a million configurations that these things could be in. But I think it's safe to say that the red power has got to be on top of the box, because there's n I don't... I don't think there's a way I can get a spider web of blue power opening everything up, and somehow with probably only one connector. Somehow get the red power over here without intersecting the blue. So I can just set aside a connector and a box for the red power. So this is what I have to work with. Three connectors. I, geez, okay, I'm just gonna think about this. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I, I got a wonderful, mostly stable system going. Both of them stay open for a good 5 to 10 seconds. I wish I could describe what I did, but there was really nothing particularly logical about it. Just kind of putting stuff down and connecting it to as many things as possible. That's a lot of lasers. Okay, so let's see if this works. I'm guessing this ball is going to be a fucking dick. 
It's going to be a dick ball, isn't it? This thing's going to take 20 seconds to charge, and it's just not going to quite work. Oh, wait. I think it's actually going to work. Oh, thank God. Whew. Depressing sky. This whole place is really depressing. Okay, well, as much as I really want to continue on and press up to the tower and finish all these things, if I do that, this episode's gonna end up being like two hours long. So I better just cut it out here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to get the rest of the gray pieces, the remaining two pieces, and go up to the final floor of the tower.